get myself together. Oh, you gonna cry again anyway. I'm already crying. I need y'all to check in. I need y'all to I need y'all to check in real talk. Like I gotta get myself together to even say what I need to say. And I need y'all to hear me, black people, and I need y'all to hear me good on this one. So I'm gonna give y'all a second. I'm gonna give y'all a second to get in. I'm really trying to get myself all the way together. I have just had the worst experience in my life as a black woman. As, as a black person. And I'll never pull, I would never pull the, the race card. So I need y'all to hear me, hear me well. I'm not racist. I don't have anything against anybody. But I just got, I just got treated like, it's, uh, I, I've had the worst experience. I went to Bro, Bass Pro Shop. I purchased a gun to protect myself because of what's all going on to do it the right way. I purchased the gun. I got my permits, everything. Yesterday I had an incident. My gun went off while it was on safety. I need y'all to hear me and hear me well. I've already signed up for classes to use mine properly, but I have not had the opportunity to go use it because it's at the end of the month. This is what happened. I went to bed and left. I went to Bass Pro Shop, not for a refund, more to have a safe gun. This man just treated me like shit. And I hate to say that word. He treated me like shit. And I know it's racist because he immediately went to, ain't no refunds. You talking to me. I could have hurt somebody yesterday. Unintentionally. And he didn't even want to hear that. He immediately went into, oh, it's a black woman. She want a refund. She wants some money. You wouldn't even hear my story or hear what I was trying to do. And he immediately, immediately treated me like shit in that store. <laughs> to be a black woman. <sighs> to be talked to so disrespectful. <laughs> it hurts my heart y'all it's, it's real out here in these streets these people are bold some of these people hate us for the color of our skin and this shit is bad I can't hardly breathe I damn near had an anxiety attack you know because I was sitting here in disbelief like wow like really he talking to me like this <laughs> and I didn't want to be that black woman I didn't want to be that one to cut up and do all the cussing because that's what he wanted me to do and he pushed and he pushed and he damn near broke me in that store I had to stay there and wait damn near 30 minutes for another supervisor he claimed he was the supervisor he was he was over a department of archery you dealing with bows and arrows you're not even dealing with guns then you sat there and fumbled with it and saw that the gun was defective. He sat there and messed with that gun for 10 minutes because it was defective. Even on safety, the gun goes off. And then he chooses to tell me, well, I'm not the manufacturer. Y'all, huh. pulled, pulled another gun out and he did the same thing. Like I told a man, sir. I ain't asked you about the manufacturing of this gun. I ain't asked you about no money. But immediately you assume that's what I'm coming in here for. I gotta calm down because my nerves are shot for the day. I love all people. Anybody on this live knows me and knows me well. If you know me well, my heart ain't never, ever, and it never will be. I ain't against nobody, especially of color. My brother-in-law, I love him to death. He is white. I ain't got nothing against white folks. Period. But this man right here has shook me to the core. I have not had an anxiety attack in months. I'm on the edge right now. Y'all be safe out here because some of these folks hate. Some of these folks out here hate us. 
man, it's coming out. And I don't care what y'all say. To, you can't change my mind. Some of these folks out here hate us to the core because of our skin. And I am overwhelmed with emotions because I've never in my 41 years of living been treated like that. Never. I've never. Ever. So to have gone through it today, my God. who? Y'all be careful out there. Because he could have went. Let me tell you. The old Sonequa, he could have went a whole nother way. It could have went a whole nother way and it didn't. Y'all be careful out here. So racism is real. And I'm not putting all white people in no bracket. So let me be clear on that. Because I love my I love everybody. White, yellow, red, black, or white. But this man has treated me so disrespectful at this bad pro shop. Over a gun that I purchased. In Leeds. In Leeds. I was there just like everybody else. I didn't go in there with attitude. I didn't go in there. I'm going to get my money. I, I didn't go in there. I know the policies and the procedures. All I wanted it was a safe gun for my safety. I'm out here in these streets all the time. I'm delivering late at night sometime with these cases. It was for my own safety. It wasn't about all this other stuff. Oh, Lord God. <clears throat> I've never in my life. Today, I officially, if I ain't never felt black, I definitely felt black today. I definitely felt racism at the core. And I, I've heard stories. I've learned about black history. I know all of this. But today, I saw for myself, I was treated differently because of my skin. I stood there 30 minutes before I even got any help. Like, it's, it's real out here. And it's sad. For no reason. All I wanted was my gun to be fixed. That's it. All you had to do was tell me what to do. Instead, you talked to me and belittled me. And then got frustrated with me. And I saw it in his face. Oh, my God. I did talk to another supervisor after I waited. Her name was Samantha. Samantha was Caucasian and Samantha said she could help me but my heart still broke because I was already treated I was already offended I was already felt belittled in front of this man simply by trying to protect myself I ain't going there waving no gun I ain't do none of that because that's not my character that's not how my mama raised me especially how to handle situation man it's sad out here I could have went anywhere and got a gun. To be truthfully honest, I could have went anywhere. It's sad, y'all. I'm sorry, because y'all know I don't get on here with... I try not to get on here with all these emotions, but I need y'all to be on your P's and Q's out here in these streets, because some of these folks out here on, some, on a whole nother level of hate. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I need y'all to be aware of what's going on in these streets. Because it's real out here. <clears throat> I'm going to get myself together. Because I'm not going to give any more energy to this situation. Because I already gave it enough of my energy. And I come from good energy. And I know that the creator got me. But I've never in my 41 years of living ever been treated like that. And, and I hate that. I had to be the one to go through that today. I love y'all. I'm not going to not. And I'm not going to stop loving people. I'm not going to put people in a category because that's what people do. People or sometimes if, some, if a certain race does something to you, then you assume everybody's like that. And I'm not going to give it my energy to do it. But I need y'all to be aware of what's going on in these streets. I need y'all to be aware that it's some people out here. We in Alabama, let's be 100. They, they ain't with it no more. Just like we're just as vocal about Black Lives Matter, they are just as vocal about how they feel. I love y'all too. I appreciate the support. Pray for me today, cause I'm done for the day. I ain't, I ain't got. I need to just. Woo! My God, I need to 
get myself together because I never thought I would have to go through something like that. Never. Ever. It's, it's not my character. It's not. I'm a happy.